Okay, so this is going to be a video on the pros and cons of Zippo lighters. So in this video we're just purely looking at Zippos, and we're classifying this kind of video as both the type of lighter that Zippos are, which is a liquid fuel lighter, also known as a gasoline or a petrol lighter, and then we're going to compare those a bit to other lighters of the class of a Zippo and other types of lighters. Um, I mean, Zippos are great, they're classic lighters, but there are things they can and can't do. Um, which is obviously good to bear in mind if you're thinking of buying one or you want to you know, know how useful it would be in certain scenarios compared to other lighters. So I've done videos before comparing lots of different lighters and things like that but this one is purely kind of on what's good and bad about Zippos and some of this stuff is kind of unfixable by design choices um, especially if you're in liquid fuel categories of lighters um, and there are things that could definitely be improved on the Zippo um, there's quite a major one I'll go into um, but let's start that now. So this is kind of your classic Zippo here. It's obviously the Zippo windproof as it's known. Um, very simple design. So you've got your main lighter section in here which you fill up with a lighter fluid there, liquid fuel. Then once it's in there it soaks into the wick and soaks all into the interior part of it. You put it in its case, you flick this, makes a spark and obviously it lights and you close the lighter to put it out, obviously closing the lighter cuts off the oxygen supply um, and that puts the flame out. You can also put this up to brace the lid from closing so in theory the lighter can't go out. In theory anyway. So it's called the Zippo Windproof, if you look there you can see a wind guard. Now the whole point of that is obviously it's a wind guard so if there's it's a windy day and you want to light a cigarette or something that's not going to go out because of um, you know, wind guards. So in a minute I'll fill both these Zippos up to show you. Um, what we have here is a brass Zippo. So regular Zippos are brass, um, that's then like electro-plated with whatever kind of metal they're meant to look like. Um, the brass Zippos are solid brass, which you might be just about able to see there, it says solid brass. So these are higher quality Zippos basically, uh, they're a bit more solid, I think they weigh a little bit more, um, but they have tighter tolerances, so what I mean by that is that when you put this lighter together, it's a tighter fit and that is good for what there's that's a very good reason for this it means that basically um, it takes longer for the fuel to evaporate inside because one of the big problems of a Zippo and you'll notice that neither of mine light because I haven't refilled them in a while Zippos um, evaporate their fuel now this is a problem with all light fluid lighters liquid fuel lighters because by design um, obviously fuel is flammable and um, evaporates so even if you're not using it there's evaporation over time of the fuel, uh, which means eventually the lighter dries out even if you aren't using it. Now, this is like one of the pros and cons we're going to speak of. Depending on how much you smoke, or whatever else you use the lighter for, if you very regularly use the lighter, this isn't going to be a problem because you'll be lighting it and using the fuel anyway for that reason. However, if um, you know you very rarely smoke, um, and you use the lighter now and again for utility kind of uses, this is where you've kind of got a problem I suppose because the fuel evaporates faster. Now there's a kind, there's a couple of things you can do that are really easy to like you know increase the time it takes the Zippo fuel to evaporate and one of those is that people have told me, well the really easy one that I've done is you can store the lighter in a sealable plastic bag and that reduces the amount of evaporation. Um, also, if you're in a hot climate, the Zippo is going to evaporate its fuel faster than if you're in a cold climate. What some people do, which is a bit of effort but worth doing, is they put a rubber seal around here where the lid seals, which cuts out a lot of evaporation. Supposedly, you can get, you know, maybe two months out of a regular Zippo. Now, with both of these Zippos, when I've sort of timed it, if you fill up these lighters, um, I think I get a couple of weeks to a month on that Zippo, depending on conditions. The brass Zippo is about twice as long, so in any given condition it would be about four weeks to two months. Um, so if I had to pick one Zippo to use, I'd definitely use the brass Zippo because I can fill them both and I know this one's going to last longer. But as I said, that's purely down to having tighter tolerances. Um, I found like Starlighters and other Zippo clones that are very close to original Zippos. There's not much advantage of the Zippo other than you're you know, buying a proper American Zippo lighter. So those are some factors. So what I'm going to do now is just show you filling up lighters which is very straightforward and easy um, and then we're going to talk a bit more about them. Now you might be able to see on there it says lift to fill. I'm not actually going to do that because you don't need to. If you pour lighter fluid in it will still soak through. 
and then um, when it's damp enough obviously you have a working lighter. Now this particular Zippo fuel might actually be quite low by the look of it so I might have to get another bottle of this open. Another problem with lighter fluid is it does last longer than um, obviously when it's in the lighter but again it will still evaporate out of one of these so bear in mind um, once you break the seal on one of these like this one uh, which is a good thing it ran out in this video to kind of prove a point um, they do begin to evaporate so I'm just going to bin this one um, and get another one to start filling them up but I'll cut to when they're refilled now because this is a fairly straightforward thing obviously you're just pouring enough lighter fluid in there that the um, cotton inside becomes soaked and when that's soaked obviously uh, the light is going to light because the wick soaps, uh, soaks up the um, lighter fluid inside. So um, I'll cut back to them being filled. Now while I'm here I'm going to talk about one of the advantages the Zippo has and that's that when you're refilling it it's very easy to do. You don't need any sort of pressurised butane canisters or anything like that. Um, obviously if you had a rip in your Zippo fuel can or whatever brand of lighter fluid you're using yes um, it is going to spill out However, unlike butane, if you have a hole, like a very minor hole in your Zippo, because obviously it soaks up inside the Zippo, although it would evaporate a bit faster, it's not going to run out super fast. Um, whereas if you have a butane lighter, obviously, if that develops a crack or a hole in it, um, the entire lighter is useless because it won't pressurise. So if you had it out in the field, that's not a good thing. So what I'm just doing now is letting the um, stuff soak in properly, so when I light the Zippo, it should actually, you know, just light what it's meant to light and not light the entire lighter on fire. But that's one of the other disadvantages with a Zippo is that obviously once you've refilled it you need to give it a moment so it's not going to uh, light messily. Whereas with a butane lighter once you've filled it you can use it. Well saying that sometimes once you've filled a butane lighter it then becomes too cold and you have to give it a moment as well to go to sort of room temperature again but with Zippos that's not a problem. However, saying that, one of the good things with a Zippo, it will light pretty much in any ter uh, temperature. Whereas with butane lighters, if it's very cold, although I've never been in a condition that's been too cold for a butane lighter, um, Zippos, you know, in theory, uh, work in a broader temperature range. So that's one thing to consider. Now, Zippos don't cost too much either. They're about, in the UK, 10 to 20 pounds, depending on which model you get. One like this would be 10 pounds. One like the brass zipper would be closer to 20. Um, now, lots of people buy disposable lighters that are like a couple for a pound or whatever, um, which are a very uneconomical way of using lighters if you smoke a lot. You'd be much better going for a proper lighter, um, even if it's a butane refillable one and refilling it. I think I've covered that before on sort of economics of lighters, especially things like clippers. They're very cheap but good lighters. However, if you wanted something a bit fancier, 10 to 20 pounds for a Zippo isn't bad at all and obviously it works well so anyway let's now flick this and speaking of cold weather another great thing about the Zippo is that um, it's got a very big striking wheel so it works you know if you've got a gloved hand you can still light it so as you can see that's why it's windproof because it's not going out that easily when I'm trying to blow it now a big enough blow will put it out, same with any lighter, um, but it's only electric and jet lighters that I've seen that um, can withstand pretty much any wind conditions, so that's one of the advantages of the Zippo Windproof, it does live up to its name pretty well, you don't have to shield it with your hand like that if you're trying to light it, so you know that is one big advantage, but as I said the fuel does evaporate which is the main disadvantage. So Zippos look cool as well obviously because you I'm not an expert at flicking a Zippo um, open, especially when I'm trying to do it on camera, but you know, they've got the nice sort of Zippo flick open mechanism. I said once it's lit, you can put it out just by doing that. Now, eventually you will need to replace um, the wick in a Zippo. The wick's in pretty good condition in this one. You can pull it through for a while and then you eventually need to sort of um, put a new wick in. You put them in from underneath when you open up the lighter. Uh, you then pull it through. As you can see, the flame size is a little bit different on both of these Zippos. I don't particularly know why, it might just be wick condition. I know if you move the wick around, you can alter the flame size on the Zippo as well. Um, another good thing of the Zippo is you can use them in the dark, which I'll just demonstrate. Now there's a little bit of natural light in the room, but not load, so you can just about see this. However, if I then light this, you should be able to see that once the flame starts going yellow, uh, that's giving off quite a fair bit of light, so if I do the other lighter as well, 
and I've set the lid on fire there, there's obviously a bit of fuel in it. Um, you can see that both these lighters um, are obviously giving out quite a glow. Now if you do that with a butane lighter and lots of other similar ones, you'll get nowhere near as much glow as you do from these. So, um, you know, Zippos are good, especially if you flick the thing so it keeps the lid open. Um, you could use it to illuminate an area if you really wanted to see something. Obviously that's not a good idea if there's leaking gas or anything like that. But um, it is kind of good if you just wanted to um, obviously light something up and you're in the dark and you didn't have a flashlight or anything else. You can use your Zippo. So there's always that as well. Now there is an alternative to a Zippo and many of you know I'm very happy with this lighter. It's probably one of my favourite lighters. This is an old Imco. Now, sadly, these aren't made anymore, um, because Im Imco went bust, but they were kind of a competitor to Zippo for a very long time. They came in different shapes and sizes, but most of them had this general design. So this is a light-on open lighter. Basically, you flick it, and the flicking of the uh, mechanism opening also lights it. Like the Zippo, it's partially windproof. Obviously, it did, did go out there, but you can see there it's got the wind guard. I have tested it outside, and it works well. The bigger model of Incos have a thing that adjusts there, so you can adjust how much, um, how big the holes are basically. Um, obviously the bigger the holes, the easier it is to blow out. However, that also lets more air in, which makes the flame bigger. So, what advantages does this Imco have over a Zippo, just for comparison with like-to-like -like lighters? Well, one of the really cool things with the Imco is you can pull this out, and I've just managed to put it out doing that, so let's try it again. It might need a bit more of the wick pulled through. Right, so let's pull this through. So, one of the big advantages of this is obviously, as you can see, you can pull this bit out and use it like a candle or something similar because the fuel is in there. You could also light this, of course, without it being on the lighter itself, uh, just by anything that makes a spark. But um, obviously, that's a big advantage because you can use it to light things in more awkward angles. <sighs> obviously, it's got no windproof properties once it's pulled out of there. Um, but overall, the Imco, obviously, it's easy to light when you open it on its own mechanism. Uh, you can also inside the mechanism store several sort of spare bits in there, like spare flints and things like that, which you can't really do properly with a, a Zippo. You can kind of, but not properly. Um, so there's that. You can probably see there's a bit of lighter fluid on there now, because that's one of the annoying things is until a while after refilling it, they tend to leak a little bit of lighter fluid. Um, As you can see, flames on the lid as well, which is great. Um, another thing with the Zippo is you probably noticed that if it's been closed for a bit, um, the evaporating fuel hits the lid and then when you light it, it sets the lid on fire. So be careful how you hold the Zippo when you light it. Um, but overall, I think that pretty much sums up most of the points in the video. Obviously, Zippos are very nice lighters for what they are, but they're not perfect. As I said, fuel evaporates over time, which is annoying, whereas if I get a jet lighter, I could have filled up a year ago or whatever, still fuel in it, still lights. So, you know, butane lighters are much better in that terms if you just want to fill and forget. However, there's a sort of certain charm to things like the Zippos and the Imcos. Um, you know, these are kind of classic retro lighters and it's nice that Zippos are still made because, you know, another advantage of a Zippo is it's built like a tank. I think you'd have a really hard time actually damaging a Zippo to the point it wouldn't work. You'd probably have to run it over with a car or something. Um, you certainly wouldn't break a Zippo by dropping it because it's, you know, so simple inside. It's literally, that's all there is to a Zippo. Um, as said, you will have to now and again put a new um, sort of flint on it, uh, you know, the striker, and you'd have to pull the thing through and replace that. But for the most part, you know, not much I can complain about with a Zippo. So there you go, hopefully this has been informative. Like I said, I wanted to do this video mostly just to talk about the pros and cons of Zippos because you seem to get Zippo fanboys who think they're amazing and they can do anything better than any of a kind of lighter, which is false. And then you get the people who think Zippos are a complete waste of money and crap lighters and neither of those things are true. Zippos are very good at what they do. Um, obviously, lighter technology has now surpassed the Zippo, especially with like electric lighters and butane torch type lighters. Um, but they are kind of a classic, and they are nice lighters. So, you know, hopefully this has helped you make up your mind whether or not a Zippo is the right lighter for you. Um, but, you know, they don't cost a load of money. I said about £10 for a basic model Zippo like that. 
if you did want to take the plunge, go to a pound shop and buy a bottle of lighter fluid for them, um, and you're all set to go.